Hi there, welcome to the latest episode of my 10 minute moan. However, <clears throat> this one won't last 10 minutes and this one is certainly not a moan. The topic of this one is the breaking news, Hamza has left the building. Okay, if you want to support the channel, just hit thumbs up on this video please and any that you see. Now, back to the news. Hamza has disappeared. Hamza is gone. Hamza is finished. Hamza is no longer the First Minister of Scotland. All right. Now, it's been a mad few days, and I think what's happened here is when the amount of motions getting tabled by the Tories and in particular the Labour Party one, which asked for everybody in the government to get flung out, the party's pulling down the hatches and going into self protection mode. So, Hamza, you're toast. All right. And over the next few days, they'll just keep trying to stay in power, which I think will ultimately fail. So, it's been a mad few days. Everybody that wanted rid of Hamza's got it, but probably a lot quicker than anybody expected. And the mad thing is, he brought in himself by dissolving the Butte House Agreement. And when you consider what actually triggered that was not the climate change thing, that's just bluster. It was the, the Rainbow Greens pushing their party, the Green Party, to have an extraordinary general meeting to discuss and vote on binning the Butte Agreement on the basis that the cash report had led to the Sandiford Clinic stopping a handful of kids being prescribed new prescriptions for puberty blockers. Isn't it mental that a fallout with some LGBT wing of the Green Party taking a huff because some kids wanted to get puberty blockers, which a lot of people in society think is probably not a bad thing. And that has ultimately brought down Hamza and potentially his government. Today is a great day. Enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, and unless you're Hamza, it's SNP, party, or the cult that follow them, everybody else, have a great day. Cheerio bye now.